Good afternoon, my name is Brian Cooper over here at Ken Wilson Ford. Today is Monday, January 6, 2020. Uh, it's Monday, it's the afternoon, uh, but we still had some new vehicles down here at the Trade-In Center that I wanted to showcase. Uh, we've got four today, so let's get started. All right, so the first one that I wanna go to here, and I don't have any specific order of how these are gonna be today. There's no specific theme for today, except the fact that these are all new to the lot. I think today is the first day that these are officially available for sale. But this one is a stupid clean 2012 Jeep Wrangler. This is a six cylinder from what I understand. It's extremely low miles, it's 40,000 miles. Um, I, it's for the most part stock. I think someone's added those uh, KC lights on the bumper and they've put larger tires on the original factory wheels which i think just looks so great uh, there's a lot of arguments around the trade-in center here on if this is yellow or orange i say yellow i think it's um i think they call it dozer yellow is the paint color on the actual code but this thing is just crazy nice there's not i don't even think there's a scratch on it uh when we got it it was immaculate already we didn't even have to do any like serious detail work somebody just really took care of this jeep this Jeep is an automatic. Right now it's the um, only two-door Jeep that we have. And it does have the automatic transmission. We just got rid of two that were stick shift Jeeps. You can see here it's got the touch screen in it. Oh, that's a copyright claim waiting to happen. Just super clean inside here. Like I know you can't smell this, but it even smells brand new. Looks like. Wondering if that's aftermarket now that I'm thinking about it because I see the little Bluetooth mic there. Soft top on this, of course. Just a really awesome Jeep. I can't wait to see who's going to take this home. Somebody's going to be extremely happy with this thing. And we've got this priced uh, right at $23,992. So I think that's a really awesome example of, you know, something you could four-wheel in. Next thing I'm going to show you is something that I think is kind of cool. And that is the fact that we've got some little different, something I haven't seen out on any kind of dealership lot in a long time. It's some old school Ford here. Well, it's really not that old because I think it's a 2003. And that's this bad boy right here. Yeah, 2003. This has 95,000 miles. And this, of course, for anybody who hasn't quite understood what I'm looking at here somehow is a Ford Crown Victoria. And this thing just looks like it was owned by somebody who just drove it to church basically it is in really good shape i had a fun time looking at this one in the back before it actually made it up in here it was actually featured in one of the last videos when it was in the back lot before it had finished go through and going through service and detail and everything and as we open this thing up it is just super nice in here white leather seats as we get inside here this is just i'm this is just old school ford this is just like oh yeah when you crank it up the car has a little bit of a shake to it look at that digital dash i didn't even know it had that but check that out digital dash super clear like this is this is the car that you use when you drive to work so that everybody moves out of the way when you're in the left lane because everybody's going to think you're a cop but it is definitely not a cop car. You would have thought it's like a Lincoln Town car with how nice this thing is. I like this thing a lot. Crown Victoria, good old Panther body. This is just awesome. This is a car from a different time for sure. You see it's got alloy wheels here. Just super clean. It literally looks like it would have been a cop car from the outside. Minus the fact that it has the uh, paint matched bumpers and everything there so next couple that i'm going to show you are a couple small suvs or crossovers as you will i'll take a walk here past the explorers and the edges and everything here which we've had a lot of movement here we've had a couple of these moved around and sold you can see over here we've got some people that are looking at a edge sport and we've got the edge st from my video the other day but as we come back over here, the next vehicle of interest will be, I think this is a 2018, I'm sorry, 2019 Ford EcoSport. This is a vehicle based off of the Ford Fiesta chassis. 
It's basically uh, a lifted Fiesta. It's actually got pretty decent ground clearance for a vehicle this small. These have a very interesting design characteristic where you can open the rear hatch with a side hinge. That's kind of unique. These are selling like crazy. Uh, up on the new part of the lot, we've had, I think, four or five of these. And over the last uh, three weeks, we're down to just one. Um, so they sell extremely quickly just because a lot of people like this smaller kind of SUV. This one is a titanium and it's all-wheel drive, so it's going to be pretty, pretty loaded with features. And I think it only has 20,000 miles on it. So you're basically, it's one of those examples where you're going to get practically a brand new vehicle, um, but not take any of the depreciation. I think this one's going to sell really quickly. I'm not even 100% certain that we have this on the website yet. But regardless, I wanted to point it out. Let's go around here, maybe crank it up. Yeah, 20,000 miles. It's got the big touch screen here. Lots of features there. You can do all your phone apps. See right there. Navigation, of course. Got auto climate control down here. You've got heated seats. This one even has a heated steering wheel. That's kind of nice to see in a small crossover. You've got your traction control button, your auto stop start, your USB ports, your power ports, deep cup holders. There's even this weird funky uh, armrest here, which also doubles as a pocket, but if you want to adjust it, slides forward. It's just kind of gimmicky, kind of cool. I like it. I also like the design of the front and rear door cards. They've got kind of this, uh, you know, waterfall style pocket where you can... You know, put your arm on here and it just puts it right there at that comfort level and it kind of almost locks your arm in like it's meant to be you can see all your window controls here are perfectly in reach that's really cool and then my last one's going to be this really interesting little honda it's a honda hrv it's kind of like a baby crv or honestly let's be real it's about the size of what a crv was 15 years ago but this thing is also, this one's a 17. This one's higher on miles, 80,000 miles. So that would have to be just be a lot of highway miles. That's a crazy amount of miles to rack up in you know, practically three years, maybe four years, depending on when they bought it. Of course, we're gonna have keyless remote start here as well. Dance, the gate is doing a little dance. Kind of a clean dashboard design in here. Uh, it's kind of interesting how you've got these vents all in a line right here. Um, you can adjust those. You can shift them left and right, up or down. That's kind of an interesting design thing. The way that the dash is angled here, it's kind of angled towards you here and then goes away right here. That's kind of interesting. Same thing with the controls. If you can kind of tell here, like I'm squared off centered on this thing and uh, the, the AC controls here are actually tilted to the left. Um, so it's kind of a little like a driver focus thing. And then we've got kind of a Honda design quirk, which is the fact that we've got you know, kind of this uh, skinny center stack here. We've got a pocket underneath of the shift column, which I'm always a fan of in any car. The Fusions are known for that as well. Uh, you've got your gear selector. You've got your electronic parking brake. You've got these weird cup holders, which uh, <laughs> fold. So right, that would be if you want to have like a can or something like that. But if you had like a big gulp or a big drink or maybe a big water bottle, you can flip that up and then it gets really deep. Or if you just wanted to use that for any other kind of pocket, and then you've got you know a tiny little center pocket there. Uh, decent sized little back seat. It's not huge, um, but there's enough room for me. I was able to sit back there comfortably. Uh, maybe not a luxury vehicle. And of course you got your sunroof and things like that. So this one's kind of a neat, neat one. A little bit different than everything else here on the lot. Turn this thing off and we'll go around. Blue in color. I think it's kind of a neat color. Just a clean little SUV. These two little crossovers belong together. There's definitely somebody that likes these and will take these home as soon as I see this. This blue almost has a slight color change property to it. It looks almost almost dark blue or purple in some lights and then kind of a light blue. And right here with the sun, it's can't really see it on the video, but there's definitely some different shades of blue going on here. Definitely looks purple in some lights. Or just a really, really strong blue. So yeah, 
All right, and that'll do it for this afternoon's highlight down here at the Trade-In Center. Again, my name is Brian Cooper. If there's anybody that has any questions, uh, you can always message me here on the Facebook page. Uh, you can put a comment on the video. You can call me directly on my cell phone. You can call the dealership and ask for me, or just come on by. I'm here almost every day of the week. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If not, have a great day.